Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. So I had a question left a few weeks ago in the comments section of one of my recent videos uh, asking about, uh, does Pat Winlink do HF propagation predictions? And the answer to that is no, but I got to looking around to see if I could find something else that could work with our pie that could take care of that problem for us. So let's take a few minutes today and see if we can't get that going on the Pi. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal window. So we'll be ready there. And then let's come over to this website here. And I'll leave a link to it just like I always do down in the description. Uh, but this is the software that we're going to be trying to get going today. So we're going to scroll down. And we don't want to do the download just yet. Uh, this download, uh, in order for it to install correctly, we need to install G-Fortran first. So if you click under the Ubuntu section, we can just come down right here and we'll copy this command. And we'll go ahead and paste that into our terminal window. So that's sudo apt-get install G Fortran. Let's go ahead and hit the return key and wait for that to install. All right, so we'll just clear out the screen after that's installed and let's move over to our downloads directory and let's head back over to the website to grab the download link. So from here we'll just right click on this and say copy the link address and then come back to our Pi and we'll use the wget command and paste in that link that we just downloaded. All right, so now that we have that on our machine, let's use tar xzf, that's dash xzf, and then the name of our file. And you'll see that it's created a new directory. So let's go ahead and move into that directory with a CD and then the name of the directory. All right, and once we're in the directory, we can head back over to the website and it'll give us directions to complete this installation. So we'll scroll down on that web page to the build application section and these are the four commands we're going to run in order so we'll go ahead and start with a configure command all right and once that's completed the next thing we want to run is the make command All right, after that completes, we're going to do a sudo make install. And then the next command is make it sh fbc. Okay, and then uh, according to the website right here, it says to test it, we should be able to run this command. So I'm just going to copy that. And we should see output similar to this without any errors. And it looks like we're good so far. All right, so if you're into just uh, text documents uh, there is a way i'm not exactly sure how because i didn't dig into it that deep but there is a way to run it with just this installed however i kind of like graphics so let's see if we can get the uh, graphics portion of this installed as well so let's head back over to the website and at the very top we're going to click on this link here all right the first thing we need to do is get some of the dependencies installed so we'll come down to where it says installation and Ubuntu. Now, 
This does not completely work for the Raspberry Pi. We want to copy everything except this last one here. Uh, so we'll grab everything prior to that. Copy it. And we'll head back over and paste that into our terminal window. All right, and now that that's finished up, let's get one more dependency. All right, and this one is sudo app get install lib gtk-3 dev. And I'll leave uh, that command down in the window as well since it's not available on the website. But let's go ahead and get that one installed. While we're waiting on this to finish up, scroll down and click the thumbs up for this video if it's helped you. All right, and now that that's finished up, let's go back one directory by using cd space dot dot. That'll take us back to our downloads directory. And let's head back to the website. All right, at the website under the downloads directory, we'll right click on this address and copy the link. Back on the Pi, let's use the wget command again. and paste in that link that we just copied. All right, once the download is complete, let's use tar-xzf, and then we'll copy and paste our file name. All right, listing out our files, we need to move over to this directory here. So cd python prop dash zero dot two eight. All right, once we're in that directory, let's run the configure command. And sudo make install. All right, and let's exit out of our terminal window here. All right, so let's come up to the main Pi menu and come down to other. And we're going to select this, VoaCap GUI. All right, and on the first run, you'll see this no SSN data found. Just click OK, and it'll go ahead and retrieve that from the Internet. All right, so for the site, uh, we've got to do a little bit of setup here. I'm going to select, you can use the grid squares here. So we'll program in my grid square first. And choose OK. Now, this portion I still have not completely figured out, uh, but you do have to choose an antenna before it's going to work. I've got to dig into this a little bit deeper. If anybody's got any pointers on this, please leave a comment uh, down below. So under the samples, I'm just going to choose the very first one. Say OK. And we need a receiving site here as well. Now, you can also take, instead of entering something here for the locator, you can just click on the map. So, we'll click that point there and say OK, just for demonstration purposes. And again, we've got to set the antenna, so I'm going to set it to the same antenna. And let's go over to the peer-to-peer -peer section. In here... I'm going to uh, set the month for December of 2018 and click the Add button. So it adds it to this box over here. And now we can click the Execute. And then the OK button. And you should get a chart that looks like that. Looks like everything is working. All right, guys, hope this helps you out. Uh, takes a little bit of time to kind of play with and experiment uh, with the software itself to figure out exactly how it works, but this will help you get it installed anyway. Until next time, 7-3.